Yo guys, what's going on? So today I want to go over uh, the uh, three different softwares that are used for the current uh, DS captures, or 3DS captures as well. Uh, the only one that's not a 3DS is obviously the side one on the left, uh, which is the original DS one uh, that Loopy still sells on there. Uh, you can have that modded, and that is the original Fat uh, DS. So. We have, obviously these look, the 3DS capture and this DS capture look the same. Those are both loopies and I just closed that one. There we go. Okay, I, I didn't close it, I just uh, minimized it. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, the, these two are basically the same for, one's for the original fat one and this one is for his uh, 3DS uh, one. This one is the optimized one. This one actually just has a weird name, non-STD, reline, diff viewer or whatever the heck it is uh but that is the one for the optimize or katsukiri card so for uh these uh you can see that the 3ds one actually starts out uh with it uh in viewing both of them uh this one will split out these two will always come in split i believe maybe if you change it, i'm not sure if it'll stick but this one regardless of what you do that will come in uh together Okay, so we'll start with the loopy ones, uh, going off to the side, the DS one. Uh, this one is uh, just pretty plain, uh, not too much to it, uh, even more than this, even though they look the same. So we'll start off with this one, and we can go to the video settings here. Now the video settings, honestly, I never changed the codex here. Uh, there's no real reason for me to, I don't record using this, so this is, I think, as if you're recording here. Uh, they don't really do anything, I, I just set everything to 100 anyway, so on both screens or whatever and just keep doing that you can configure some stuff here the temporal quality ratio i've got no idea what any of this means i don't use it for that uh i only go and in obs i record these captures uh for the top and the bottom usually uh the top since if i'm playing on this most likely i'm going to be playing on gba and uh i usually just record the top screen since that's what i like it on uh, though you can go ahead and split this up or uh, make this, I guess, combined first. So if you go single window, it'll kind of look like the one uh, for the optimized card here, uh, putting them together. So you can do that, or you can go ahead and make it actually GBA. So this is what I would probably use it for, but I don't usually use it uh, this way. I'd like to keep them separate. That's just how I do things, just in case I want to... Uh, use the top screen for anything else if I'm playing a DS game actually doesn't happen often, but it could uh, So but this one will actually since right now it's looking at the bottom screen uh, It could look it, it does look at the top screen if you start the game So this will go actually this so this is looking at my bottom screen if I start the game It's gonna go to my top screen, but as you can see it'll actually still record that uh, and it'll actually know which one you're at, uh, which whether the top of the bomb screen, depending on the GBA. So that's just one thing. I, so there's that. I usually keep that on, though, the split window, and I like that there. I'm actually having this thing is playing through that. I don't know why I had that turned up, but uh, this is also the only one. Oops, I made that way bigger than I wanted to. Uh, this is the only one that you need to actually record uh, with a... Uh, aux cable. Uh, yeah, you actually need a line in uh, to whatever you're using to have it uh, record the audio. It will not record it through the micro USB like the next one here, uh, the DS Capture, Loopy's DS Capture. This will record it through USB. The other one will not, just an FYI. So moving on to Loopy's other one here, the 3DS Capture, uh, where it's basically going to be the same. Uh, you click this one, this is going to split it into uh, this one, one full screen, kind of like this. It's really looking the same since these are both 3DSs. And then you can tap it again to split it. You no longer have, obviously, GBA, so that's not an option. Uh, we'll move those to the top here. But what you do have in here is a video... Or, uh, well, not the video saying. The video settings are actually all the same here uh, with the same codex, I believe. What you do have, though, is the audio setting on where your output comes from. The other one usually just comes from your HD audio or whatever. You do have an audio setting in here, but I don't know how that works or I, I never use it. It's just always on no sound. But here you can have its output device where I have it set to, like right now I have the beacon, so I'm actually setting it to my digital audio, but I have a bunch of things where I could have it output. So I just have it output to 
the uh, system right now, which is basically what I'm hearing right now. Uh, you guys are actually hearing the optimized card here. Uh, I'm hearing this one uh, for the 3DS capture. So just being able to separate those out is a little bit better. So if you have digital audio or if you have different spaces you're putting this, uh, especially when you're recording uh, to, uh, you know, if you're using you're using OBS and you're recording everything, you want different audio sources, uh, you can do that. So very nice to have, especially when you're editing videos uh, later and you need uh, separate audio tracks to uh, to do stuff. So, but this is that, pretty simple. I never use these again. Uh, these are just kind of there. And I always usually just keep the top and the bottom separate and record whichever one I need and OBS, just make a source and just call it that. Uh, but now we can move on to our last one and we have the optimize uh viewer uh for this so this one is uh very chock full of interesting stuff a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily need nor are ever really going to use i feel uh it's just a lot of stuff uh here you have your we'll just we'll just go in a line uh you're going to start off with your change product key this is going to actually make it work so you do need a product key for Optimize or Katsukiri stuff uh, to make this work in the software. Uh, it has to ma match on, I think, on your like device ID, which you can check here. Uh, and then you have your, well, I have no idea, INI folder. Uh, I think INI, I think that's configuration. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you're about, whatever. Uh, move on to the config. I'm not too sure on some of these. Wait for VSync. You can look up some of these ones. Uh, limit to 30 FPS. I don't do that. I imagine maybe if you're having problems or whatever, you could do that. Uh, transfer mode. I've always left this on 3060. 3D view sound full. Uh, sounded pretty good, so I'm just like, all right, let's just uh, let's just leave it on that. I think uh, there was some stuff I did look up before. I think to try to uh, make this work, and it <laughs> like I just haven't really touched it that much. Uh, thread priority, you know, you can do uh, more of this. I have USB receiver set to highest and then drawing and sound is like normal on there. Uh, that doesn't really need it. Uh, back buffer, oh yeah, uh, back buffer set to the highest. Uh, I just want that the best there. Uh, select council types, what was this? Oh yeah, so this is also you're gonna need to do if you're, depending on what you're using, uh, since optimized cards could be installed in like a lot of different ones. So if you're using the 3DS Excel, 2DS, whatever, early 2014, or if you're using the 2DS uh, late 2014, uh, this this kind of depends and it does matter. So if one's not working, you may want to try the other. Then let's go down. We have calibration. This, I've got no idea what that is. Uh, you can stop and look at it if you want to. Special settings, disable desktop composition and delay queuing. I've got no idea, expansion. USB packet size to 1024 bytes. Uh, I'm not sure of that either. Uh, I don't know if this is something that could help. I, well, I tried some of those special settings actually last night. I was having problems. I think it might be my, uh, it might be partly the 3DS and the the way uh, my, my motherboard is because it was having problems when I was actually plugging in all three of these DSs. Uh, when I would plug in the last uh, 3DS, it would make the optimized one stop working. And I think that was because it was just too much uh, USBs plugged into the back panel. Uh, so when I moved it to the front panel for the for this USB or another or a different USB, uh, it was actually uh, fine. So that's one thing that you may want to check. Are you overloading that USB hub with stuff? Uh, and most likely you're not. You're probably going to have one or two plugged in. I'll have I have a lot of stuff plugged into my back uh, of my of my back panel on my motherboard. So if if that's something that you do like this, you may want to rearrange those or put those, put some in the front panel or the, you know, uh, back panel or use a hub like maybe on USB-C that can actually handle more data. Uh, either way, let's go on to, okay, so here you can separate lower screen settings. This will always go back to look like this. So you're going to have to, if you're, if you're one to separate the lower screen like I am, so it's going to be like this, you're going to have to do this every time. It's just an F4, doesn't really matter, doesn't really take that much time. Uh, and if you press... Oh wait, can I press it again? Wait, oh, okay, I cannot press it again. I thought that if I press it again it actually worked, but it does not look like that works. So you'll have to come up here and do that uh, to have that back. 
Uh, then you have the sound settings. Uh, this will not change. Uh, it's always going to be on like this default right now. It's on my NVIDIA high definition audio. Uh, but you can make it. So I have it going through game on the beacon mix create another digital audio. And that will actually go through uh, and change it. It won't look like it here, but it will change it. Trust me. Uh, that's what I usually do. So uh, other things in here, sample rate, I, I don't really get into. So I just press OK and it goes through that. And you guys are usually able to hear it. Like I think it stopped because I didn't have it on there. Uh, something I, I have no idea right now. Uh, sometimes if it's not working, just do a restart and oh, did it? No, it didn't stop. Never mind. I take that back. Okay, I must have clicked the wrong one. Yeah, let me go back to game and then yeah, bam, you can hear the audio again. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I just accidentally screwed that up. Uh, let's see, move on to uh, 3D off, uh, analyze side by side. I don't know any of these things. Side by side is just, I, I, don't know why you would want this. I, I have no idea why this is even a thing. It's so weird. So swap left and right. What does it even matter if you swap left and right? They both, they, it's it's gotta be, actually no, I, t I take that back. You know what it is? I bet you anything is if you plug in two, uh, three, uh, two 3DSs, uh, you can have them in like this. Uh, normally, obviously I wouldn't do that. I just take, I just create another instance of this and you know, have them there. I assume you can probably do that. I don't have two optimized cars to check that, but maybe that's something you can do. I would assume it's just like this, because if you have like two or three or whatever of these, you just create new instances, you know, of these, you just go in and, and start a new one and, and that. So I imagine the same thing is with optimize here. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, oh yeah, 3D off. So just, yeah, whatever with that. Uh, filtering, no filter, bilinear, and and I uh, so tropic. If you know what any of these mean, I don't really know too much. I think it's just how all well, like different quality settings on there for filters to look to overlay on this. So I usually just use bilinear. I think bilinear is just like a uh, algorithm to make it smoother or something like that. Uh, as as well as and I and I so tropic, whatever the heck that is. So just choose one that looks the best to you. I don't think there's really any different like hard difference between any of these. Uh, I feel like maybe bilinear. I just still feel like bilinear is the better one. Uh, size adjust. This will just adjust the, you know, how big this one is. Uh, obviously you can't really, well, the, yeah, you can. Okay. It's like, you can adjust this how you want to. So if you filter up on this, uh, you can go and do that. This will just set it to different, like how big things are. So, uh, I usually just, keep it to the smallest one or whatever it came by default uh so i can have it on my screen but you can make it that big and and just do that but i usually keep it very small for for what i'm using it because i don't care since i am usually splitting up anyway so those are the adjustments display okay only you can do only upper display some things don't matter for that uh i mean i obviously it's whatever you choose on there uh, screen spacing. This is just going to like space it out. I, I don't know. Some of these really don't make sense on why you would want this, uh, side by side. This could be useful maybe, but for the most part, you're just gonna, if you're recording an OBS, you can put them together anyway, and you can put them, uh, the top and the bottom. If you just split it, uh, way better than what, it, what it has here. So I, I still don't really understand that. Uh, it's, I guess it's nice you have a lot of these options, but no, I just, I, I just don't really understand it. So here's your upper and uh, lower screen ratio. So if you're keeping like this, you can change how much, uh, upper and lower screen you have still, uh, as I said, doesn't really make sense to do that. Uh, only if you're like recording the whole screen or something like that. Uh, this one, this one kind of makes sense. If you're playing a game, there there are, there are so many few games. I think it's actually a Mario game. Uh, I think it was it like Paper Jam or something like that. Uh, that you can rotate. Uh, you'd want to rotate your screen uh, to the left or right, depending, because there are some battles I know that in there that actually do this way. Uh, so you can flip it that way, or oh, whoops, I just <laughs> did that one. Uh, yeah, or you can flip it the other way as well uh, to make this there. And then the last one is full screen here. The guy just pressed accidentally uh and this will just obviously make your thing huge so well, let me go put this back but <laughs> i accidentally did it again all right anyway uh but these are the three softwares that you can use as of right now i think loopy for his new one uh his 
using the new 3DS XL. I think he said something about making new software. We'll see what that has to entail if he includes more features like this one. Honestly, I just don't think it really matters. I like the minimalistic one of like these ones, you know, very like all I really want out of these ones is the ability to adjust the audio where that's going and, you know, being able to split it or put it into that. I don't really care about all this other stuff. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Why do I keep doing that? Stop it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to have all this here. Uh, the only thing I can say is maybe the filtering. Uh, I do like that, you know, maybe, maybe you can put that in, make it a little bit more, you know, smoother on some of these. Uh, that'd be the only thing I could think of. Uh, other than that, they're they're pretty much perfect in my opinion. So, uh, but anyway, that is three uh, the three uh, th three three DS or DS uh, capture softwares that we have here for these uh, different uh, capture cards. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know this kind of ran a little long, I think, and just going over the optimized ones. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.